Hi guys, today's video is on solving multi-step equations and the equation that I'm going to solve for you today involves using the distributive property. The reason that I know that this equation involves the distributive property is because I have a number outside of parentheses with no operation in between the number and the parentheses and that indicates multiplication. So I'm going to start this equation by distributing the 4 to both terms inside of this parentheses. So 4 times 2x is 8x and 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. I'm going to bring down my equal sign, I'm going to bring down my negative 8. Once you've distributed, the parentheses are gone. So now we've just got a two-step equation. The goal of every equation is always to isolate x. If we get x or the variable by itself, then I'll know what the value of that variable is. So we're going to solve for x by using inverse operations. We're going to do the opposite of what we see here. So I see that x is being multiplied by 8, and it's also got subtraction of 12. It's easier to get rid of the subtraction first, although I could divide everything by 8. But if you jump ahead, you see that if I divide by 8, I'm going to end up with a fraction here, and I know that a lot of you out there don't love fractions. So if we get rid of the negative 12 first, we don't have to worry about fractions. The inverse of minus 12 is plus 12, so I'm going to add 12 on the left side, and whatever I do to the left, I have to do to the right, so plus 12 on the right side as well. My new equation is going to be 8x equals negative 8 plus 12 is 4. The negative 12 and the 12 canceled out because negative 12 plus 12 is 0, and then 0 plus 8x is just 8x. So we are one step away now from getting x by itself. Right now, x is being multiplied by the 8, by the coefficient. So if we want to do the inverse of multiplying, it's dividing. So we're going to divide both sides of this equation by 8. So on the left side, 8 divided by 8 is 1, and 1 times x is x, which makes sense because we're trying to cancel out by doing the inverse. And on the right side, I have 4 divided by 8. So I can write this answer as 1 half, or I can write 0.5 however you like. So here's my solution, x equals 1 half. Now, there is another way to have solved this equation um, without distributing. So I'm going to show you that way as well so you can see what works better for you. So I'll do that over here and then you can compare which method you like better. So instead of distributing the 4, I could have started by doing the inverse of this multiplication by 4, which would be division of 4. So I can divide the whole left side by 4 and divide, of course, the whole right side by 4. So on the left, 4 divided by 4 is 1. It cancels out, and I'm left with 2x minus 3. Equals, on the right side, a negative divided by positive is a negative, and it's negative 2. And now I continue like I did over here with the two-step. I want to get rid of the minus 3, so I do the inverse, plus 3 on the left, plus 3 on the right. I bring down my 2x. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0, and 0 plus 2x is just 2x. Bring down my equal sign. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. Now I can divide by 2 on both sides because that's multiplication. The inverse is division. Divide by 2 on the right. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times x is just x. x equals 1 half. And I see that I got the same answer that I got earlier, okay? The only issue with dividing by the number that's being distributed first is that if on the right side, this is not a number that four can go into nicely, then you're gonna have to be dealing with fractions again. So as a rule of thumb, if you're not great with fractions yet, um, you might wanna just distribute first, but either way you do get the same answer, okay? So this is how to use the distributive property when you're solving multi-step equations.